Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fantasy Star 3, which is totally not what we're welcoming back to. Welcome back to Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics. We're going to be playing Fantasy Star 3, uh, Generations of Doom. You need to say Doom that way. It's just, you know, it's, it's part of the contract. We didn't actually finish Fantasy Star 2, obviously. We just did half an hour little preview of it. It seemed like an interesting RPG from the 90s. Kind of a interesting i mean it's a jrpg from the 90s what do you want you know turn-based battle system turns kind of sort of play themselves but you know you are able to do some stuff into it so let's see let's see what fantasy star 3 is like of course i haven't looked at the new manuals that would be crazy talk also never played that before this before rather so we'll see how this goes ps3 Oh, you know what? I used to have one of those. Generations of Doom. Okay. Sure. Let's uh, start in. Not wild about the tile screen? Oh, do they actually have a, a track screen here? Or is it just going to jump into something else? Written directed by S2. Why that seems somewhere? Okay, yeah, just going to do credits. Okay. I, I mean, I care, but... I don't necessarily want to do that right now. I don't have any save games. Don't even bother. Yep, that is true. No save game position. And nor position two. You want to keep going? Okay, there we go. Select message scrolling speed five is fine. Okay. Okay, here we go. The legends of the past shape our lives and those of our children. One such legend is of a struggle that almost destroyed our world. The names of Orakayo and Laia echo down through the years, still inspiring love and hatred, even now, 1,000 years after their tragic deaths. Their conflict wiped out civilization and left the survivors in a world of mutated creatures and warring pockets of men. Into this shattered world you are thrust, to live or die, by your sword and your wits. Usually a good rule is that if you require a prefacing scroll, you're in for a bad time. Not always true, not always true, but let's be honest, Star Wars is a B film, okay? <laughs> let's be honest. You may not like it, but it's true. Okay, so we're this guy in white. Do, 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 do. You can always tell that I'm in control because the first thing I do is I go in circles. Let's talk to this guy, maybe. Um, all right. So another guy with blue hair. His name is Reese. Okay, so we can still do techniques. We can do stats. See, we want his stats. Okay, only intelligence is six. Well, you know, some people have said that about me my whole life. All right. So apparently that's not the talk button. That is not the talk button. That is not the talk button. That is not the talk button. So there's apparently no talk button. Thought maybe going towards them would be enough, but apparently not. Okay, looks like a shop. Hello? That is still not the talk button. There's no apparent... Oh, there we go. That did it. Who needs to get regain the will to fight? No, no, no. Okay, but that, that's our talk button. We have new we have new information now. We need to go talk to the guy in white. Can I talk to you? Yes! Maya awaits in the castle, Prince Reese. Okay, so in the castle we need to go. Maybe like the biggest road? Seems like the thing to do, right? Okay. What do you do? Welcome to the supply shop. May I help you? Sure. Although I have no money whatsoever. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, we know Mono Mate from the last game gave you health. Hmm, you're not going to start me off with a pimp party member either, huh? Alright, so that's possibly a problem, but we'll see. Maybe they scaled everything appropriately. There's a bed here, which I'm assuming we used to rest. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's follow the biggest road out. I mean, there is another thing, but we don't have any money. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, we have no cash. Oh, hello. Dangers everywhere. Yeah, okay, that's kind of what I'm here for. Uh, it still seems like the biggest road out is here. 
So we'll do that. To do. Okay, I expected an overland screen. This is totally not it, though. Okay, so they're taking some hints from Zelda, maybe. So doesn't Zelda predate this by quite a bit? The scrolling is just so weird, but I'm just going to have to get used to it on the screen. I mean, it seems like that's the princess, right? She's fancy. She looks like she's in a castle. I mean, that's pretty much all the requirements for a princess, as far as I know. Alright, so let's go see if we can get to her. I mean, it looks like it would have been a straight shot, so I should have just done that. Alright, so she was over this way, right? I think in this room? Oh, okay. She's actually not there anymore. Oh, no, there she is. Okay. Scared me there. Okay, what do we got? I'm honored that you want to marry me, Reese. Um, titles, please? Perhaps someday we'll find out where I'm from and who I am. Um, you made sure you guys aren't related, though, right? I mean, that's, that's always, like, an important thing to figure out. Before you jump into a relationship that's, you know, binding. Okay, they're just going to straight up go into the marriage. Usually you say this for the last part of the game. Maybe she's going to be kidnapped or something. I, Reese, do take the Maya to be my... Yep, here we go. Totally kidnapped. But the Orcanians, Maya will not be yours. Return her, you foul dragon spawn of Laia. Dragon spawn, really? Find Maya even if I have to search forever. I'll take the army to destroy Laia's clan. Oh, they totally turned into... Okay. Don't be a fool. No one has seen a lion for over a thousand years. Starting a war is not a rational thing to do. Cool off in the dungeon. Cool off in the dungeon. Okay. Um. Can't stop me from going after her father. Do we have like a Thor Odin type of thing going on here? Find her again and I'll bring her back. Oh, dude. How long is he going to throw you in the dungeon for? Until he cools off. But, you know, as a teenager, does that ever really happen? You don't cool off until you get to like 25 or so, right? So then you gotta break out of your father's jail. That sucks. I mean, at least put him in his room, you know? Okay, so we get control back. Is there a chest in here? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Can I... Yeah, I can totally pop this. 300 Mesetas in here for no good reason. This is a dungeon, right? You sure this isn't his room? A monitor. Monitor of what, though? That's a very good question. Let's see if we can go to the items. Use it. Can't use it. Okay. Okay. Can I... I mean, I wonder if I can equip it? We'll try that next after we do this. Found a knife. Okay. Do we have any items equipped right now? No, we don't. Okay. Okay, don't do that. Go to equip. We want to equip the knife in the right hand. Maybe the monitor? No, can't equip the monitor. Okay, then I have no idea what the hell the monitor is. Then. All right. But maybe with the monitor we can get out. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Or talk to this nice person. Hello, nice person. I'm Lena. I'll help you escape. Follow me. Okay, that was simple. That was, like, easier than Dark Souls, where the guy drops the dead guy on top of you. At the beginning of the game. Arm yourself, and we'll go find my... I'm already armed, man. I have a knife. I'm a deadly, deadly prince now. Armed with the sharpest of pocket knives. There's more chests up there, though? I, I kind of want to... Never mind. Okay. I'm still not in control. They're totally taking this away from me right now. Why even bother having me can you go through that room? If That, that was weird. Also, the dungeons let out here? Yeah. Yeah, the dungeons totally out here, and they're blocking the way so I can't get through, right? That appears to be the case, yes. Okay. There's a nice person over here. Hello, nice person. Maya's a mystery to everyone in London. Um, just a princess, man. Although I guess he means her, her origins, because we still don't know where, where she's from, right? I suppose that's fair. 
All right, but now we have 300 currency. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Hello, sir. I'd like to purchase your finest armor, maybe? Okay. I mean, hunting armor seems like that might not be a bad idea. I don't even know what we currently have, though. What do we currently have? Let's look at equipment. We have a garment. Well, that's not going to do much. Still, defense 13. That seems okay. Still, that's probably more due to the boots than the garment. It seems like we we give ourselves some hunting gear or something. I totally hit the wrong button there. I'm going to hit this button. There you go. Yeah, I want to buy... Garment seems bad. Let's get the hunting armor. Maybe the shield, too. Maybe the helm, as well. He's going to carry it. Reese is going to carry it. Maybe the shield? I mean, that should go in the left hand, right? The thing is, I'm worried that the sword's going to cost 100. Oh, if the sword costs 100, we'll still be set. It costs 125, we'll still be set. If we use up all our money, I don't care. So yeah, let's, let's buy the shield. So buy the shield. Reese is going to carry it. Nothing else for me, thanks. Now we just need to find a weapon shop. So first thing... First thing we do, in case we get attacked or something, is we equip the hunting armor. Okay. And... Did we buy a shield? Can I not equip the shield? That seems weird. Is that an item that I can... Oh, there it is, shield. Use it. Can't use it. Did I... Next. Oh, next. Okay, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Okay, good. Defense 38. That seems much better. That's like twice, right? At least twice. This might even be a little over twice. Okay. So now we need a weapon shop. Which might even be over here. Because I'm pretty sure this is where... Yeah, yeah. So there was a fountain... I don't remember a weapon shop, but maybe it was like up here. I'm trying to think where logically I would put a weapon shop. This looks like an inn or something. I have not found the princess yet. Just a random house. Just walk into people's random houses here. Okay, so not a shop. Do we see... I don't remember seeing an item shop. We didn't really look around because as soon as I found it, I had no money. I just got the hell out, you know? I wonder if we can sell the garment. That might be, not be a bad idea. We're not using it anyway. Or sell the monitor. Okay, what do you sell? I forget. Oh, no, I don't need to regain the will to fight. I'm good. Alright. So it's probably based on the iconography above, right? So this is like a magic shop, maybe? Or an item shop. Interesting music. Step right up. Fortune is told for 10 Mesita. No. No, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Okay, so that's the symbol for a fortune teller. That is good to know. So, I'm look still looking for a weapon shop. I need something better than a knife. There's no way a knife is going to get me through this. So, I'm thinking you sell the diadems and stuff, right? Yes, supply shop. I want... I want to see what a sword costs first. So if it costs like 200, then I'm doomed anyway. But if it costs like 125, I don't want to get in the way of it, you know? That doesn't look right. This is a sword shop. There you go. Okay. What do you got? Shit. Okay. Well, not unexpected. What can I sell? I can sell you the garments. Which doesn't get me enough. Let's try selling the monitor. Since I have no idea what it is anyway. Oh, he doesn't want it anyway. It might be a quest item. Alright, well I can't do anything with that anyway. So let's go over to the item shop, supply shop, whatever you want to call it. And, well actually let's look in here. Because we can buy some health, health items, that'd be great. 
good night's rest. Okay, so for some reason the pitcher means a good night's rest, which is weird. Urn, whatever you want to call it. All right, so this is a supply shop. The supply shop is barrels. Because why not? Okay, so we want to buy, like, almost all your monomate. Maybe not all of it. I want to buy at least two monomate and then... Now let's buy three monomate. And then we'll buy, like, two diamites, maybe? Probably about all I can afford, so yeah. I am not going to buy any antidote or escape pipe. Maybe that's a mistake, but I think we're okay. All right, let's get out of here. It's been like 15 minutes in the setup period, which is not bad for an RPG, actually. But, you know, we only have, like, a little while to figure out what the hell's going on. Oh, here we go. Overland. This is more what I expected when we went towards the castle. All right, random encounter. Let's see what the fighting's like. Trooper 1, you've been ambushed. She attacks. You did one whole damage. Don't hold back, man. Um, okay. That was a weird clock mechanic. I can't seem to select anything. Um, yeah, we want to attack. With a knife. Sure. Reese attacks. Damage 9. Great. I have no TP at all. That seems problematic. Um, yeah, just go ahead and keep attacking. There you go. One experience. Ha 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 ha. Well, it is the first encounter ever. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm going to head towards that town. I ended done. Okay. I mean, I guess we just attack, right? Damage 10. That's pretty good. Especially for a knife. Use poison. Oh, wrist has been poisoned. That's what I get for not uh, getting the antidote. Okay, good. One guy down. Still poisoned, though. That's not good. Um, could flee, but I don't think it's necessary. We don't have any items that could help, so I think we just... Yeah, we could shield up, but I think we just attack. Never mind. I was going to change things, but I realized that wasn't going to do anything. question is how long we're poisoned for. Is it just till the end of the combat? Or is it, like, forever and we're going to drop dead? That'd be kind of hilarious. Okay, that was 4 XP. Two each. Okay, let's go down to the town. Oh, there's a boat there. Probably have to go to the boat and, like, pay the guy off or something. Okay, so let's go in the supply shop and buy some antidote. Probably not a bad idea. All the shops here are the same. All the people running the shops are the same. Yeah, so antidote. Um, no, I think we're good. One antidote. I'm hoping that's enough, but we'll see. It's at least enough for this little demo playthrough thing we're doing. Alright. So let's go down to the boat and see what that's about. I cannot get into the boat. Nothing unusual here, it says. I'm not sure I believe you. That boat is shaped very oddly. Okay, we'll just go ahead and keep going. So they did change up the random encounters a little bit. Chirper 1 should be like, okay, great. I'm still poisoned. Okay, well, we gotta fix that. So, get yeah, good in the items. Monomate. Antidote. There you go. And then go. Gra, which I think is gonna hurt. Yeah, effectiveness is two. Antidote succeeded. I didn't realize Antidote had a chance of failure. That's a worry. Okay, so we wanna go up here. Select attack. We wanna attack this guy. And do it. One whole damage, we attack, it should die. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I wonder if we could have used the antidote outside of combat. Too late now, though, it's gone forever. So why do we want to go to towns? I guess just to make sure we don't have any random encounters and to restock on stuff. So that's reasonable. We need way more Meseta before I feel comfortable resting, though. In the meantime, we have the diode might or whatever the hell it's called to heal us so i think it's okay just to keep going there's a road here hello nothing unusual here you say it's either a road or an airport okay well here we go and it um i kind of want to heal 
Yeah, so let's do uh, mono mate and see how that goes. Okay, good. They healed me to full, but they're going to hit me pretty hard here, I think. Unless, of course, they don't get a chance. That might have been fast enough. Let's do it. Oh, we used poison again! Oh, that sucks so much. Need, like, a whole case full of antidote. Yeah, just attack, man. Just attack. He should be dead. Yeah, there you go. So they take, like, 20 hit, or, sorry, they have 20 hit points, what I mean to say. Okay, there we go. And he should be dead in, like, next turn. I don't have any antidote left. So you're just gonna have to die this time. There you go. I mean, they could have 11 hit points, for all I know. Alright. Well, alright, another random encounter. Another one of these guys, so we're just gonna get poisoned again, so let's just... Let him attack us. And then we should attack for at least nine, I think. Alright. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping pressing the button. I'm not sure it's actually doing anything for me. You attack. You do things. I'm just going to keep pressing the next button. I guess I could heal myself. And maybe the diamite will... Cure the poison? I could do that, sure. Why don't we try it? I have no idea if it'll let us do it outside of combat, so we might as well like get some monomate here. And we'll see if that works. Use monomate and he attacked. See, so yeah, we still got. I think the poison still happened. I think the monomate didn't work because we're poisoned. I'm gonna try. The other one. I'm gonna try Diamate. And see how that goes. Which I think didn't work at all. Yeah, it doesn't work when we're poisoned. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Well, we can't do anything about that now, so we just gotta attack this guy. Please tell me you didn't attack him with a shield. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried there for a minute. But no, it looks like we're okay. Alright, so... Hmm. Healing items don't work at all when you're poisoned. And we just keep getting ambushed by these guys. Well, if healing items don't work when you're poisoned, that means we might be doomed. But damage 11. Okay, so he doesn't have 11 hit points, because otherwise he'd be dead. Yeah, I think we're going to get wrecked here. Reese could die right at the end of the episode. That'd be pretty funny. You gained a level. Question is, did gaining a level heal you? Some games it does, some games it doesn't. Because we can probably use the item here. We're still poisoned, did not heal us. Okay, we need to get to a town then. Because we need to buy antidotes. And then possibly rest. There's a town. We've been to this town before, so we know it has antidote. So right over here. Okay, so yeah, we want to buy like 40,000 antidotes. Actually, I guess it's going to be four antidotes. Reese is just going to carry everything because he doesn't have any companions yet. And then buy the last antidote. There you go. And you can't buy anything else, so we're good. So now we go ahead and use it. I want to go down here to Antidote. Use it. Okay. We don't have enough... Shit. Yeah, well, basically, we don't have enough shit. Basically, is what it comes down to. We don't have enough uh, money. So, let's try using the Diamate on Reese. There we go. That cured us all the way up. We can't rest at the end, is what I was going to say. We don't have enough money for do it. I have no idea where I need to go, either. I mean, the guy did teleport in and then teleport out, so we need to find some kind of lead. I guess just follow the coastline until we find something? Seems somewhat reasonable. We're going to keep getting attacked. Whoa, a bunch of these guys just came out of nowhere. Um, we shouldn't have any problem just wrecking these guys, right? 
Well, the level one guys got out in one hit. I have no idea what these guys are going to do. And they'll do one damage. It's not terrible. It will add up, of course. But that totally wrecked him. Okay, good. So one... So unfortunately, we'd only do the one attack. So they're going to get three against us. Which sucks, but isn't too bad. Reese attacks. Damage 12. He's dead. Sherpa's just going to keep attacking us. Okay, so we're going to get hurt a little bit here, but... I mean, what? I can't shield up, because then that stops me from attacking. So I think we just need to just take it. Oh, that's right. I can do that if effectiveness thing. That one does two damage, so I'm still okay. One experience at each still, even though they were trippers too. Okay, this looks like maybe a bigger town, but I might be making that up. Uh, it might be a bigger town. Do we think maybe each one of these has a castle? Or is this actually... This is actually the one we came from, I'm pretty sure. I feel a little silly that I've just gone around circles. All right, let's try going up, maybe? Oh, okay, random encounter. More trippers. I surprised the monster this time. Let's just attack it, it should be dead. There you go. One whole experience, holding me back. I'm rolling here, boys. Okay, just a bunch of endless cliffs there. Another airport over there. More trippers. We attack first, then we just take one damage, and then it's dead. That's exactly what's gonna go down here. Oh, okay. He got to attack first for whatever reason. There we reset attacks, and now he's dead. Two whole experience. Again, hold me back. Rocking the world here. Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna need to heal. I attacked first basically because it seemed like a good idea. Um, there we go. Okay, so we apparently surprised him enough. Now we should heal. It's our last one, though. Don't feel too good about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's funny, ever since we picked up all that antidote, now we don't see any of the guys who attack us. Um, yeah, we need to actually run the turn, so there we go. Um, there we go, Monomate actually healed us. See, it does not heal you when you're poisoned. That's kind of bullshit. Alright, anyway. I mean, it seems like you should be able to wait out the poison or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly. Oh, they get to attack before I do. That kind of sucks. Yeah, then they just destroy me. Well, they're not really destroying. Just keep attacking. Oh, sure. Just go and use your two attack just before I murder you. There you go. You're dead. And... Then you get to attack me one more time before I do anything to you. Is that how this is going to go? That's totally how it went. Okay. And then he dies. feel like that should be worth more than four experience. I'm just saying. Just saying. Alright, so how do I think this compares against the combat in, say, Fantasy Star 2? Um, kind of like Fantasy Star 2's combat a little bit better... If only because you get a companion first thing. And that really helps. Now again, the turns are kind of playing themselves out. So, you know, that, that is what it is. I don't think there's any problem with that. Unfortunately, we are going to die pretty soon because we don't have the... Um, we still have the healing items. And there's no way to do it magically because we don't have any TP. So, you know, it's definitely a problem. It's just a long war of attrition that I don't think we can ever win. There's nothing unusual there. That looks unusual to me, but... Reminds me of Westworld, you know? Doesn't look like anything to me. Okay. We're totally gonna get destroyed eventually. It's gonna happen. We only have 17 hit points. That means... What, maybe like... 10 more of these kind of um, ambushes? Before we just get dead? I mean, maybe I am just too used to common RPGs that lead you by the nose. You know, but I kind of want an indicator of where the hell am I supposed to go. Because I don't know. I'm just kind of wandering, looking for clues here. And all we are doing 
getting ambushed. Oh, this is a new guy. The Moose. That is actually an awesome sprite. He is fantastic, and I want to have him for a pet. Oh, that wrecked us! Oh, we are dead. Reese, why would you attack that guy first? Attack the Moose. He's gonna wreck us. He, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We can run. You try to escape. Please tell me it worked. You can't get away! Oh, we are so dead. The moose is gonna... Yep. Yeah. Reese in the learn fight. We're dead. Well, that was an ignominious end to our... Our game there. Party has been destroyed. Party? What party? It was Reese, man. He went out against his father's wishes. What do you think is gonna happen? Alright, well, that was Fantasy Star 3. In the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics on PC Universe. Your PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.